Wow. 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 Hello there. My name's John, and I'm gonna show you some pretty cool stuff around the lab. And many lab equipments. Beautiful gas tanks. We have helium pushing things through, and then the rest of these are all reference gas tanks. So they're all flowing through, making things nice and nice and delicious there. Mm. These gases are typically flowing through different lines. As you can see here, it kind of makes its way up into this, this overhang, goes around a bunch of various uh, places that I can't really explain super well, but uh, what's in the back of this guy? And that's pretty cool, right? Right? Pretty great. Pretty great. Don't forget our special friend, the pig hat, for when we have issues, we put the hat on. It's a great time to be alive when you have a pig hat. This is the uh, TCEA. Uh, we've got a little auto sampler up top here. It's, it's not bad. It's pretty good. And uh, we've got the little thing that controls the auto sampler, tells it when to spin around or not. Pretty great. This is kind of the old ancient kind, but I'm going to show you this one first because we can open it up and take a look inside. Ooh. This is like a nice little oven in here. Typically, you'd stick a big, big uh, 60 meter long column or some, something of that size in here, which are going to come out on this end, which would normally feed into there. Uh, but like I said, this is an older one. We have a new fancier one I'm going to show you in just a moment here. What do we got going on here? First, this big guy on top, this is our auto sampler. It's not currently operational. So I'm basically just hand injecting uh, liquid samples using a syringe. These all go into this little spot right here where they're injected, which is, is not so bad, right? And we'll ramp up the temperature. Um, sometimes if you're looking at Nitrogen samples, they go in here. That's pretty great. Pretty great. This this upper one here is uh, our combustion reactor into this tiny little capillary. Goes into this, this four port valve, this box over here. And that's going to take it back to the spectrum. All of these green lights means everything is good. This, this arrow means that, wow, this is the model. Wow, fancy, a lot of blue and gray, beige colors. This is another box here. Uh, it's called the Triple Quadrupole Mass Spectrometer. This one is a little bit different because you can see there's green lights in here. It's like a sweet nightclub kind of situation. It's very exclusive. You can't get in there without uh, a VIP pass. So, what's running this whole thing? A computer uh, with a bunch of notepads attached to it. Quite a lot of parameters that we can control. And these are these are the peaks, numbers coming off there. Statistics and math. Woo! 